Hey everyone, I thought I'd do a uh, an update of the painting now that the background's complete. Uh, there will be some some changes here and there in the background, and what colors will change as I'm going along. So I'll be pushing and pulling colors to you know to the front and pushing them back as it goes. But for all all intents, now it is done, um, and I'll move on to the poses. So we'll just go around the painting here now, and I'll show you a couple of things that are that are in it and why. Uh, we've got uh, Flemending Arena, which uh, is where Angela started. It's where it all began. And um, i got to tell you, out of all the buildings I've done, this one this brought back such a flood of memories and great, great memories and good times uh, painting this. I mean, it really brought me back to my childhood and, and I'm sure Angela's as well. You can see the nice thing about this, this is very 70s architecture. And you can see the, the, the brick is the old dark brown bricks and mix they used to do and and the brownish uh almost that sparkly chocolate brown that used to be a real 70s things which is cool i remember you know six years old climbing this i mean these ribs in here easily climbing i'm sure everybody in fleming park did this we climb up there and get all the tennis balls that would uh, fly up there from the tennis court to the side of the arena it was a big tennis court there and the great thing about that tennis court was in the winter that was our outdoor rink and that's what these lights are there for so you got the nice winter evening sky uh, those early winter evenings you know and the lights would come on and you'd be out there in the cold freezing but it'd be magical with the bright lights lit up shooting pucks and and having games with all your buddies out there and angela spent Many hours out there honing her skills. Uh, it was probably where her, her ultimate love of hockey came from. And, uh, I mean, her creativity and, and skill and athleticism probably all stemmed from there. Being out on that ice and doing doing what you do on as a kid out on the ice. Just trying things unstructured. So that's, uh, that's why that's in there. And there'll be some glows around those lights there. I'll probably airbrush that in after. Just to, and I'm going to play with the color a bit too because I want it to look really bright and lit and as it is. So you've got uh, Flemington Arena from the, the 70s and um, it's changed. I mean it went from the old style they put an addition on here of the lighter brick which looks nice and now they've got Angela's name on the arena which is a fantastic uh, nice little tip of the hat to her considering what she went through uh, back in the day as a girl playing hockey not only in the Flemington organization but in general but she had a tough time in Flemo trying to get uh, her uh, hockey hockey going. I mean, she was shunned. So the irony of her having her name on this building is not lost, and it is, it's so good to see. Well deserved, and I love it. And not only that, they did a great job with. It's good. It's a nice big bold letters. I I like that sign the way they did that. So we've got here. <clears throat> we've got the outdoor ice showing where it all started. And there's the symbolism there. And that ice surface is actually, I, that's a photo of mine I took down to the shops about probably six years ago. Um, I know they had outdoor skating there. I don't know if they still have it now. I haven't been to Toronto in about three or four uh, Christmases now, so I don't know what they're still doing. I assume they are. It's a great idea. Uh, the shops have that little loop there for, for skating around. So I took a photo of that ice, and um, that is actual what is in the photo. And I thought it'd be nice to have a Toronto outdoor rink kind of uh, actual surface to put in there. Just to show where it all started from the outside. And as a transition in her hockey career, you see it transitions into nice organized hockey. Bright white paint and lines and smooth flooded and scraped ice from organized hockey. So, and international hockey. So that's international. I, I, I actually took that uh, off a photo from um, one of the international hockey things, the hockey ice surfaces there too. I just lend, yeah, I do weird little symbolisms like that and everything, which slows things down, but I like it. Uh, it's a nice little way of putting a little extra layer of stuff in there. So I'm probably going to come in when this is done. I'm pretty happy with the way it looks now, but when I get everything painted, I may pump up some of the shadows here and possibly pump up the red here on the paint. We'll see, but I think it works well right now. Then we move on up to the the rafters, which these rafters are from the Seneca Arena, where Angela is currently working and has put a lot of her time and 
Um, this is where she trains everything now for hockey and and so the, that's why that's in there it's symbolic of of where she is now and i love the color of those raptors too i'm going to put some glows around those lights i had to piece together a lot of photos and and what possibly you can, i don't think you'd see here but these aren't straight lines i actually curve everything i love to give a curve to rafters and things because i feel like it pulls you in more and it's a lot easier i mean face it's a lot easier to put a straight edge on those things and draw straight lines but uh you know it, it kind of i do it so that that slight curve actually makes your eye flow into into the painting i'm trying to control where the eye goes so you know if you're looking you kind of feel like you got to look this way and it goes down and you're looking at that and then it comes out and you know so you're doing a loop consciously or subconsciously you know that's what i'm hoping that's the idea when I do those things, but it is a challenge to paint them curves, and I do enjoy that, uh, which slows me down, but I also think it gives a real punch to it that, that is noticed, may not even be noticed, but it's there. Of course, we got the Hockey Hall of Fame, where uh, Angela is, and one of the first two female hockey players ever to be inducted, absolutely deserved, and such a great accolade, and I'm so happy for her, I mean, that is fantastic. So that's what's happening with there. So when you're working with paintings like this, you go from uh, you go from back to front. So I'm going to start with the rafters, and then and then the Hockey Hall of Fame. I did the ice. Then you got the the Flemington Arena, which is one of the last things before I do the poses. So now I'll go through all the poses in the order that they'll go. So uh, this one is the furthest back, the Seneca Scouts. So that's going to be black. And I'll move on to the Toronto Beatrice Arrows. That's going to be a nice red sweater. And it should look good against the lighter bricks here. And then I'll do the uh, Team Canada sweater. That'll be in white. So that should really jump out and look nice against all that background stuff there. And the last pose I will work on is my favorite one, the Flemington Penguins one, which will be the light blue with the dark blue shoulders. I've got an idea. I'm, I really want to punch this out. And i got an idea that's playing around in my head. So I'm going to... I got an idea to put that to make that punch out is going to be different from other paintings I, I've done. I'm, I'm still tossing it around in my head, but as I'm painting, I'm thinking about it. So that one should look really cool from the idea I've got for that. And that'll be the last pose that uh, gets done on this. And of course, then we'll paint her face. And then it'll be touch ups. I'll go around and I'll touch up things. It's you know hard to you know little touch ups here and there. I'll punch out colors and push colors back and play around with it, but. Hope you like what you're seeing. Uh, it won't be long now. This piece will be off the table. I'm, I'm doing this uh, slowly. It's not, I'm not getting as much time as it as I like, but uh, it's coming together. I'm, I'm really liking what I'm seeing. This is one of the more colorful paintings I've done too for hockey. I mean, I got to put a, uh, a, a winter sky in there, a nice sunset winter sky, which is different. And colors are, are nice in the background things are coming nice nicely together i mean the blues are balancing nice with the blue doors a little bit of blue up here blue in the light things like that so um yeah, yeah i'm enjoying this play the colors are a different color scheme from from most of my nhl stuff so it's nice to see so i hope you're enjoying it and i'll do another update uh, maybe as a uh, maybe before i do the Fleming pose i'll do another update just to show you all the other poses done and how they jump out go from there. All right, so this will be the, the latest update till then.